Hey there. Today we are going to talk about using Facebook for business. It's often assumed that LinkedIn is the social media platform for business, but believe it or not, a lot more business is being done leveraging Facebook and Facebook's setup. So while Facebook is traditionally known for the personal, prof uh, the personal platform, there's actually a lot of opportunity available to use it for business. So for example, did you know that 20% of all mobile time is spent on Facebook? So that means 20% of the time that you see somebody holding their phone and looking at it, they're not actually checking email most of the time. They're usually on Facebook. If they're on Facebook, then guess what? It's an opportunity. Now, a common challenge to that is, oh, well, my market's not on Facebook, or my market's not on social media. You may be right, but the people that influence them are. And sometimes influencers are way more powerful than the people who actually make the decision. So keep that in mind. Also, Facebook has about 1.8 billion users. That's billion with a B. Your market is most likely on Facebook. And if they're not, their influencers are. It's not about are they on the market, or it's not whether are they on the platform. It's how do you reach the right people on the platform. Completely different focus, completely different intention. So let's go in and talk for a moment about the difference between a personal profile and a business page. With your personal profile, that is all about you as an individual person, meaning work, play, family, friends. It's you, you as a person. You as a person converted to a Facebook profile person. It's okay to have personal elements on your personal Facebook page. It is not okay to use your personal profile explicitly for business. That goes against the Facebook uh, terms that you agreed to when you created your Facebook profile. Facebook in the past has and I suspect they will in the future, close accounts without notice for people abusing their policies. So one thing you've heard me say before, and you'll hear me say again, is use a tool for what a tool is intended to be used for. When you do this, you reap the benefits, and you don't have to deal with as many of the risks of potentially losing everything. The other thing to keep in mind with your personal profile, if you are using per, uh, Facebook for business, is that your profile picture needs to be of you. You're doing business on Facebook. That's great that you've got the cutest dogs and the kitties in the world and you've got the most adorable children that people like all the time and they comment on those photos, but it's not you. If you're doing business, the photo needs to clearly reflect you, who you are, and this way, whether they're on LinkedIn, they meet you in person, a clearly recognizable photo of you. Work experience. It's not LinkedIn, so you don't have to go into as much detail. But if you're using Facebook for business, on your work profile, you do want your most current position listed, as well as a brief description about what you do. If you're using Facebook for business, make it easy for people to find out about who you are, who you serve, and what you do. Now let's talk about the business page. There's a lot of talk about how business pages aren't relevant anymore. You're right but you're also wrong. Facebook business pages have, or personal profiles have limitations that business pages do not have. So for example, you can only have 5,000 friends on your personal profile. 
you can have unlimited likes on your business page. Why would you want to cap out your potential market by only using your personal page for business, which is against Facebook policy and you could risk losing everything? Set up a business page. It also gives you analytics. You get to see how many people are viewing your posts, sharing your posts. You don't get that from your personal profile. Same thing with events. When you create an event on your business page, you can share that and you can like it and you can invite your friends to your business page event and again, get the data. If you're having a challenge with social media not working, Try using your business page so you actually have data to work with. Oh, one other thing with job titles on Facebook. Uh, I encourage you to use your actual job title and put a description. Don't rely on job titles on Facebook. Unlike LinkedIn, where LinkedIn is known for professionalism and the professional platform, Facebook the, the people, the users on Facebook tend to take a little more uh, liberties with their title. So CEO can mean the stay at home mom. Because realistically, if you're the CEO of a $100 million company, are you really going to want to list that you're the CEO of this company and have people target you for advertising and pitching? And no, it's not going to happen. So be careful with trying to rely on titles. You want to get to know your target market from a different perspective. This way you're not relying solely on job titles. And let's see. Oh yes, with your Facebook business page, there is an about section. And Facebook has come out and said that if you do not fill that out completely, that you appear lower in their algorithm rankings than what you will appear if you fill it out completely. They want to know that you are a legit business, so take the time to fill it out and fill it out as thoroughly as possible. But again, make sure it's relevant. And the other value in having a Facebook business page is, we had this conversation in the group the other day about the Better Business Bureau. There was a time when people would call the Better Business Bureau to find out if you are a legit business. They don't do that anymore. Do you know where they go? They go to Facebook and they search for your company. They're searching for that business page to validate that you are a real legit business. They look at the information about your business page. They look at any reviews that you have. They look at when your most recent post was. And then they also look at what other people are saying about your business. So if they're not going to the Better Business Bureau and they're going to your business page and you don't have one, it puts in their mind the question of, are you a legit business? Gotta find ads. So advertising on Facebook versus advertising on LinkedIn two completely different platforms with two completely different sets of rules and regulations. We're only going to focus on Facebook real quick and we're going to do it in a very, very glossed over version. By the way, hi Charles, and I see somebody else is or was live, so I'll say hi to you when your name pops up as well. Uh, we, let's see, ads. Oh, there are 11 types of ads that you can run. Anything from promoting a page to just brand awareness to promoting a product. And then there's also five specific ways of targeting. And within each of those five ways are a detailed breakdown list. So advertising on Facebook can help you get very, very narrow on who you want to target and how you want to target them. If you know your demographic and you know your market really well, then relying on job titles becomes irrelevant. Zuckerberg in his manifesto that he released a little while ago, uh, he, I, I like this quote. It says, he encourages us to stop thinking about Facebook as an app 
and start thinking about it as the way to communicate with others for both work and play. So basically what that means is Facebook, Facebook, his intention for it is that we're not just going to use it as, oh, I got to open this app, check in, share with you what I'm having for dinner and go on. He wants you to actually think of it as a communication device, just like picking up the phone, just like sending a text. When you shift your thought process about how you think about the use of the tool, you get better results. So we talked a little earlier about uh, the personal profile and the business page. By the way, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them and I will answer them as well. So when you're using your personal profile, a common complaint that I get is, I don't care what you're having for dinner. Fair enough. I don't care what people are having for dinner either. But what you can do is you can create lists from your personal profile. It helps you categorize people based on clients, past clients, prospective clients, uh, demographics. This way you can just click on that list and you will only see what is relevant, what the people and the businesses that are included in these lists. It helps you spend less time on Facebook, be more specific, and be more targeted. So let's see. By the way, you're, you're hearing my dog Charlie in the background. He, he's not liking that he's not allowed in while I'm doing this. So do you have any final questions? We'll keep the conversations going. Uh, feel free to post any follow-up questions or comments that you have below and I will get back to you and I'm sure the other brilliance in the group will also get back to you with, in, uh, with tips that they've learned over time as well. Alrighty, have a great day.